What's up, YouTube? Got a yo-yo review to do today. This is the Spin Love Hypodop. Hypodop. Hoopadop. We're gonna go with that. Hypodop. Anyway, let's get into it. So, Spin Love is a new yo-yo company, and this is their first release. Uh, it's sort of an undersized, but not like mini, but it's just like a little bit undersized, kind of HW shape, and uh, it's awesome. So let's, before I start talking about it, let's get into the specs. The weight is right around 64 grams. Uh, material 60, 61 aluminum with a 36 millimeter diameter. Gap width is about 4.5 millimeters, uh, 19 millimeter standard response pads, 10 millimeter axle, which is a nice, nice long axle. Goes into the spikes there, how cool is the spikes? Uh, Nice bead blast, and it is blood red. So there's only a few of these left, uh, and if you are a fan of undersized yo-yos, you're gonna wanna go pick one of these up. There are links down in the description to how you can acquire one. Um, but let's get into the yo-yo itself. So it is slightly undersized, but I wouldn't call like this is like standard sized for like 2010, 2009, 2008-ish. Uh, it's a little bit bigger in diameter than the snack. Uh, but it's not as wide as the snack, but I would say it's pretty much in the same category of size. So if you like the snack, if you like the size of the snack, because who did? This is a great size, this is a great yo-yo. Um, you're going to like this very much as well. Also very different. I can't say that I've ever seen a yo-yo uh, in this size that's also sort of this shape. Uh, plenty of yo-yos come in this size, but this is kind of a unique shape, at least to the size. Usually this type of like Countach type shape usually comes in bigger yo-yos, but uh, it does not. The Spin Love Hypodop, 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 whatever, <laughs> comes in this delightful little shape. Uh, these spikes are long enough to do some pretty cool matador stuff. I wish I could do more cool matador stuff. Uh, probably not gonna do any on camera because uh, mine usually end up looking terrible, although sometimes I get some cool ones, but that's not how my luck works on camera. So anyway, uh, very cool. Nice and stable, great bead blast. I really, really, really like the bead blast. This is a great finish, perfect finish. 10 out of 10 finish, boom. Uh, and overall, just a super fun yo-yo. I've been carrying it around a bunch, uh, playing the crap out of it, and uh, it's really just been, it handles all my tricks and, and goes in my pocket or in my back pocket or in my book bag, and it's not bulky. Um, so really been enjoying that, been taking it to work, throwing it at work, throwing it in my office while I'm sitting around thinking, and it's just been, uh, it's just been fun. But a nice change of pace, and uh, it's still a great yo-yo. So uh, that's probably enough of me just kind of talking about it. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll throw it around. I'll show you guys what this thing can do. We are back. I really can't tell you how much I've just been enjoying fun yo-yos lately. And this yo-yo really is just like made to have fun with. Uh, it's a good weight, nice even weight, dis nice weight distribution. Uh, feels rim weighted, so you get a lot of power out of it but uh, it's not heavy. Usually a lot of smaller yo-yos can kind of like feel a little bit heavy and clunky. This does not. This feels pretty much perfect. Good spin times, especially for the size. Uh, good stability too. Uh, really kind of just overall, I mean, I just think it's a really good design. Uh, really fun to play with. Uh, the binds are fantastic. Uh, I have this response is perfect. Whatever you want to do with it, it can handle it. Uh, pretty stable too for a yo-yo of this size. Pretty stable. I'm not saying it's like a competition type of yo-yo, but that was not the intent. However, it's it's great. It is so fun. Um, I really just kind of like have had fun with it. Like that's really the the best thing to say about it is that it's so fun. I've just been loving playing with it. And I feel like fun yo-yos are great, especially right after Nationals and going into Worlds, especially because Worlds isn't in America this year, because in the Nationals, you know, we were all hyped about competition and new competition yo-yos were coming out and all that jazz. Well, now that that's over, we can start playing with fun yo-yos. And this is a fun yo-yo. Uh, regens very well. Um, like I said, the response is great. Uh, stability very good too. Spin times are even pretty good. Usually, like I said, yo-yos of this size sort of suffer spin time wise. 
Uh, this does not. Really no spin time to suffer at all. Um, grind finish is great. You get great grinds out of it. Barely slows down at all. Perfect beat blast. Uh, like I said, 10 out of 10. Grind finish. Exquisite. Uh, no thumb grind left. You're not going to be able to thumb grind on that. Uh, but if you hit the spike, you can finger spin on the spike. Or you can probably, yeah, you can definitely finger spin around the spike as well. Um, that was really easy. I actually never tried that before in the show. But uh, yeah, that was very, very easy. Spikes are cool. I like spikes too because uh, you could sort of do some like matadory style tricks with them. If I can get your turn. Come on. Ah. I can't. But, you know, you could. They're, sp they're sharp enough for that. And, uh, yeah, really just a good, good design, fun design, and, uh, fun yo-yo. Uh, as far as rejecting, let's see. I guess my only really con is that because it's just kind of, it's all, all the edges are very kind of sharp, and not sharp, but like sort of just flat. So as far as rejecting is concerned, you have to actually really try to get it to, like, reject off of the string. But, uh, like, it's not bad for, like, magic drop type of rejections, but to get it to, like, pop out of the string. Here, let me show you. Like, that, like, it really wants to stay on the string, and you want to, like, exit the string. So, that's probably, and we'll look at that a little bit more when I take it apart. But that's probably my only con, is that it, it kind of wants to stay on the string uh, instead of reject off. But, I mean, otherwise, this thing is perfect in every single way. I really, really enjoy this yo-yo, and I've really been having a lot of fun with it. And I really like the response a lot, too. Very nice response. Great for rejections and... Or not rejection. It's great for regens and whatever binds you can come up with. But let's go ahead and stick it on the desk. We'll take it apart. I'll show you guys the insides. All right, guys, we're back on the desk. Let's go ahead and take this thing apart. Comes apart nicely. It was machined very well. I don't know who did it. It's probably FPM. They do a lot of that type of stuff. The bearing is smooth and silent. Center track, uh, 10 out of 10, perfect. Uh, great bearing, spins forever, Need, needed no maintenance. Here is the design, you can see it's not like a straight edge, kind of like concaves in a little bit, which is very cool. Uh, it is a little bit rounded, but there's kind of like, to the step, but there is like a little bit of a wall around the response. Um, I think that was given, I, that, that's what kind of gives me the problems with like trying to get you to get come off the string. Uh, that little wall makes it want to stay on, but, uh, that's really like the only con that I can even think of. I'm just like grasping at straws for that. That's really the only thing that this thing doesn't do exceptionally well. And for a yo-yo at this size, like it, to do as much as it does exceptionally well is, is pretty special. Um, and uh, uh, engraving is cool too. I like the side engraving. Uh, you can't really feel it. It doesn't really affect play at all, but it looks good. Uh, I think this might be the first time I took it apart, but it came apart nicely. Uh, no worries about it stripping. The axle's definitely long enough, and uh, everything is machined well and smooth and uh, went back together very nicely. And uh, look, it does even line up pretty well. I like that. I like that very much. Very good. Uh, so let's do pros and cons. Pros, grind finish, amazing. Definitely handles finger spins, no problem. Uh, really, for the size, the pocket size, this is another big pro. Uh, handles literally anything you could throw at it literally any trick you want to do with it. If you want to even practice new tricks, great for that. Um, great response, great for rejections, or great for regens. Um, I mean, really just good at everything. I really can't think of many bad things. Uh, it doesn't reject off the string as well uh, as something with like less of a wall around the response, but otherwise it's, you know, it's great. Do make sure you pick one of these up. The information on how to pick one up is down in the description of this video. And uh, I gotta say, really, one of the most fun yo-yos I've played this year. So, 
Info down in the description. Make sure you check that stuff out. That's going to do it for me today, though, guys. Thanks to Spin Love for sending one of these over. It's phenomenal. Check the links in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.